Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today's uh, video, I'd just like to take the time out to uh, say uh, rest in peace to Conrad Bain. If you don't know who this man is, or if you probably remember who he was, he was an um, actor, and you may remember him from the um, 80s show, Different Strokes, you know, with uh, Gary Coleman and Ty Bridges and uh, Dana Plato. You know, man, that show was funny as hell. That was a, f a funny show. A very funny show. It's a classic. And um, I love the show to this day. It's a, it's a great show. But, uh, yeah, he uh, recently passed away at the age of 89. And apparently he died due to natural causes. So apparently he passed, you know, just died in his sleep. But, um, you know, I will say that, hey, looks the man lived a good life. I mean, he lived up to 89, you know, and he wasn't sick at the time of his death or anything or wasn't murdered or anything. You know, he just he just went, you know, he just went to sleep, you know, natural causes is better to go that way instead of getting stabbed or murdered or anything that's horrible and crap like that. So. Yeah, but um, and he seemed like a real great guy, real cool guy that was cool with everyone, and you know he 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 was there to help you know black people. Well, not just black people, just people. Period. And you know, different strokes. You know that show where he adopted the two um, you know African American kids, and you know it was one of them shows that you never you know seen before, seen an interracial family, you know, but um. And to this day, that's where you can see more and more, you know, families being interracial and stuff. And sure, Different Strokes was a show with, you know, interracial family. But that show gave you example of how today that interracial family is accepted, you know. That's one of the good reasons. That's one of the um, perfect examples of Different Strokes. But, uh, yeah, Conrad, uh, Mr. Conrad Bain, you know rest in peace and uh, I just want to say thank you and uh, appreciate what you've done and on different strokes and hopefully you're in a better place and uh, I I don't know but this this feels like you know this is a different strokes cast curse going on because mostly all mostly all of these um cast members from different strokes they're like no longer on this earth anymore the only one that's still um alive is um Ty Bridges. You know, he's he's still around and um he's still doing his thing. You know, he's he's in his 40s now, so he's the only one left and Conrad Bain just passed away. And the other um ones, you know, sadly Dana Plato who played Kimberly, she passed away back in 1999. She had a overdose they said it was probably um known as a suicide and she was only 34 years old and that's that's sad rest in peace to her that's that's horrible so she pretty much been going for like almost 14 years pretty much yeah that's about right and then we all know gary coleman I man i love gary coleman it's and who didn't love when he said what you talking about willis man that's classic crap right there that's classic stuff uh, he had me roll and say, what you talking about, Willis? That's classy, man. How could you resist that? But, yeah, you know, Gary Coleman, he passed away, what, almost, yeah, almost three years because he died back in May of 2010. Man, that was that was quick, man. 2000, it's already 2013. He been going that damn long. That was quick. Poor Gary Coleman went, oh, it was just awful, man, to, you know, the way he passed away and stuff, man. Oh, man, Gary Coleman, why? I love Gary Coleman. And then I remember after, you know, he's on Different Strokes, he was on the Wayne's Brothers show, and I remember in that one episode he was on Drake and Josh. I mean, the guy, the guy was just funny, but I just felt bad for the, you know, the, the, the kids on the show, you know, after Different Strokes was over, you know, Gary and Dana and Ty Bridges, they all started – you know, having drug problems and stuff, and Dana and Ty were were they were the most you know getting in um trouble with the law. 
And, you know, it's, you know, especially in Hollywood, it's hard, you know, when you get caught on drugs, you can't, you know, it gets addictive. It's hard for you to stop and you get in trouble with the laws. It's really hard. And then sadly, you may end up, you know, with an overdose or whatever. And you end up, you know, no longer living. And I mean, it's, it's, it's sad and messed up. It, it really is. And um, let's see, the other minor cast that were on um, Different Strokes. Oh, Dix- Dixie Carter, she was on there for a little bit. She passed away also in 2010. Her and Gary Coleman passed away around the same year. That's that's weird that they were on the same show back then, and then they died at the same year. That's that's just weird. And um, the other minor characters, they're pretty much still alive, li- alive and kicking. Um, Char- Charlotte Ray, she's um 86. And then there's Mary Jo Catlick. She's still alive and kicking. She only 74. And she currently is the voice of uh, Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob. Because I, I, I remember watching one episode of Different Strokes. And when they show her talking, I'm like, is that you, Mrs. Puff? Because I'm like, her voice sounds familiar. And I'm like, oh, oh, cool. She She's the voice of Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob. That's all right. That's all right yeah so you know she's she's still the voice of um mrs puff and so she's doing her thing and then there's D- danny kuski you know he i think he only in his 30s you know he's you know he's still around doing his thing we all remember him um yeah he was on different strokes for a little bit and then after that you know he went on and um he was on i remember him on uh nickelodeon salute your shores back in the 90s that was a pretty good show um, and he also did voices of cartoon characters. He did a voice of Montana Max from Tiny Toons. Uh, he was the voice of Jack Spicer on Shaolin Showdown. And uh, he also did a voice of um, Kick Bukowski's brother on Kick Bukowski. So he's doing a lot of work. So, you know, shout outs to them and keep doing their thing. Yeah, but... Uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to say rest in peace to Kyrad Bain. Um, I just want to say that you know I hope and pray that you're in a better place and you'll see wherever you are. Hopefully you'll see Dana and Gary again in the afterlife. And um, Ty Bridges, you know, shout outs to Ty Bridges. Keep doing your thing. Make sure you you know you don't get any trouble or anything take care and just enjoy your life man hang in there and uh i just like to say rest in peace to dana plato and gary coleman two wonderful people they're on different strokes that sadly died in their 30s or 40s rest in peace and i hope you two are together in a better place you know for 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 eternity and hopefully you two found peace and I just feel bad that you you know your life ended the way it did due to drug problems and stuff this is real sad yeah but um that's all I have to say and um stay tuned cause uh my next video is gonna be cut for Bieber yeah that that oh my goodness that trend topic the way the, uh, the Justin Bieber fans, oh my goodness, freaked out about Justin Bieber smoking weed. Oh, you know I'm going to tear the crap out of that. Oh my! When I heard when I heard about this, I'm like, what is wrong with this world? Oh my goodness. Yeah, but that's all I have to say. Rest in peace, Mister Conrad Bain. I'm out. Peace.